So Uber is expanding their delivery offerings by now offering prescription deliveries through script drop. Hey, my name is John from ride upstate. And today I want to talk about this with you. This is my second time recording this video because the first time I was using the wrong settings in OBS. All right. So what is this animal? I'm going to apologize ahead of time because I'm going to be looking down at the screen here to record. So last year, Uber announced that they were adding additional delivery options beyond food and grocery and doing kind of on-demand scheduled delivery solutions. And they originally did prescriptions through Nimble RX. Well, now they've started using Script Drop. And if you are on the Roadie platform, you're probably familiar with Script Drop because they use Roadie as well. Amanda Epp, the CEO of Script Drop, says being able to combine Script Drop's integrated interface with Uber's technology means that pharmacies of all sizes will be better equipped to improve prescription adherence and serve the most vulnerable of their communities. Now, again, like I said, I've done some of these prescription deliveries on Script Drop. They're fairly easy to do, although there are a lot of steps involved. And because you're delivering prescription medication, if the person is not there to pick it up themselves, you actually have to return to the pharmacy with the medication and indicate that the person wasn't there. I've never had that happen to me, but that's what was explained to me by the pharmacist when I picked up a prescription. So the article here goes on to say that this will be available in pharmacies across 37 states in the United States, including California, Florida, and New York, with plans to expand in the coming weeks and months. So this is part of the whole Uber Health program that they've been expanding into, providing rides uh, for healthcare, providing ways for people who don't have their own transportation to get to and from the hospital and appointments. And now they've added this prescription service. Personally, I like having another option besides delivering food, because here's an option that you have where you don't need to worry about something spilling, something making a mess in your car, smelling up your car, you know, and this comes with people and food. So this is kind of a nice in between and hopefully the payouts will be decent as well. The ones that I've done on roadie have been okay. They're not the best mileage ratio out there. However, the pharmacies, I'm pretty close to three pharmacies. So it makes it pretty convenient for me to just pick up one of these trips uh, at random through roadie, but it remains to be seen if it'll be just as easy on the Uber platform. So what do you think about this? Have you seen any of these types of deliveries? Have you done any prescription deliveries at all? What was that process like? Please share it in the comments below. And of course, if this is the kind of content that you want to see on my channel, make sure you like this video and subscribe for more content like this. My name is John from Ride Up State, reminding you that just because you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.